Hello friends, welcome to civil engineering exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with wastewater engineering in the topic of oxidation pond. So the question is calculate the dimension of oxidation pond and determine the detention period and treating the sewage from the residential colony in the southern region with a population of 8000 persons. Assume the sewage to be treated is that a rate of 125 liter per capita per day. The 5 days BOD sewage is uh, 325 ppm and uh, specific gravity of organic load is 1. Okay. So, solution. So, the population is given is uh, 8000 persons. So first we have to find out the daily flow of sewage. So daily flow of sewage uh, equal to so the 8000 the population into the treated rate is 125 LPCD. So 125 divided by 1000. So 1000 for the meter cube. So, we got the value of uh, 1000 meter cube per day. Okay, so we have to daily sewage is uh, 3000 uh, meter cube per day. Okay, so now the total BOD we have to calculate. So, total BOD load per day equal to so now. The BOD of sewage is 5 days 325. So 325 into so 1000 m cube into 1000 divided by 10 power 6. Okay, so we have to convert into meter cube into kg. So we can 10 power 6. So now 325 kg per day. Okay, so uh, now we assume organic loading. So we can take the three approximately 300 kg per hectare per day. Okay, so now we have to find out the surface area of the pond. Okay, so dimension of the oxidation pond we have to find out. surface area of pond equal to so that total uh, BOD is required and the organic loading is 300 so now we can take 325 divided by 300 ok so we got the value of 1.083 hectares ok so we can convert into m cube so that is into 10,000 so now 1.08 three zero meter square okay so this is the area so now we can take l equal to 2b we can assume so 2b square equal to that is area equal to 10830 square so solving this we got the value of b is equal to 73.60 meter so uh, we can sub we can substitute the b value over here so we got the value of l so l is equal to 147.20 meter okay so this is the dimension of the oxidation pond okay so now uh, we have to uh, find out the depth and as well as retention detention time so now we can take the depth effective depth equal to 1.20 meter so now the total depth total height h equal to 1.20 plus 1 meter is a free bore 2.2 meter okay so now the capacity so we have to find out the detention time so now the capacity equal to daily flow into detention period 
so we know the daily flow and capacity from that we can find out the retention period so now the capacity is uh, 147.20 into 73.60 into 1.2 okay so equal to the daily flow is uh, 1000 into detention period okay So now the capacity that is 147 is the length, 73 is the breadth, this one is height. Okay, so now, so this is total height, so the effective depth is 1.2. Okay, so now uh, we can take T equal to 147.20 into 73.60 into 1.2 divided by thousand okay now the retention period is 13 days okay so this is the method we can solve the problem again we will see in next video thank you